I want to tell you the story of why the bat flies at night. It's one of my favourite stories at the moment, and it was told to me by another storyteller called Johnny Gillett, the journeyman. So first off, thank you, Johnny, for telling me this story. And it's an Aztec story from the country that we now know as Mexico. And according to this story, the bat used to fly in the daytime with all the birds. But the bat, he felt embarrassed. He didn't have any feathers like all the birds did, and he felt ugly and naked. And one day, the bat had had enough of being a bat. I don't want to be a bat anymore. I wish I was a bird. Oh. Now the Aztecs believed in a god called Quetzalcoatl. And Quetzalcoatl was half serpent and half bird. A huge feathered snake. And he was very clever and wise. And animals often went to Coatzalcoatl when they had a problem, when they needed some advice or needed some help. So the bat went to find Coatzalcoatl and he soon found him. Coatzalcoatl, I don't want to be a bat anymore. I wish I was a bird. Oh, What's wrong with being a bat? You can't be a bird. I don't want to be a bat. I wish I was a bird. Make me a bird. I can't make you a bird. Oh, but you could make yourself a bat bird. A bat bird? What is a bat bird? I give you permission to go to every bird that you know and you can ask for one feather, only one of each bird. And if you ask nicely, each bird should give you a feather and you can stick the feathers to your wings and become a bat bird. A bat bird. A bat bird. Yes, I will be a bat bird. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you. And the bat flew off and he went to all the birds that you can think of. He found a pelican and he got some big white feathers. He found a flamingo. He got some pink feathers off the flamingo. He went to the parrots. He got some greens and reds. He went to the hummingbird and got some tiny little green feathers. And it wasn't long before he was covered in beautiful coloured feathers. He looked like a rainbow and he was very proud of himself. The bat was flying through the forest and he was showing off. In fact, he even started to tease some of the animals that had no feathers even though he had been an animal like them just that morning. First he found the monkeys. La 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 la, monkeys, look at me, you have no feathers. La 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 la, I am a bat bird. And the monkeys, they threw fruit at the bat until he flew away. And then he went down and he hid in a bush. And the bat waited until a very old armadillo shuffled past. And then he jumped out. La la la, I'm a bat bird. And the armadillo, he crawled up into a ball. And the bat flew off laughing. <laughs> And then he went to the caiman, the crocodile, at the side of the river. And the caiman was lying there sunbathing on the side, on the, on the sandbank with his mouth open. And the bat started to flap around his head. I am a bat bird. La 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 la. Look at my feathers. Lo, 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 lo. And the caiman looked up. Why don't you come closer to my mouth so I can really see your feathers? So the bat did. And when he was right close to the crocodile's mouth, he snapped his door, his door shut, bang, and the bat flew off. La la, miss me, you are too slow, I am a bat bird, la 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 la. Then he found the snake, the python. A python was there and he started to tease him. You have no feathers and you have no legs. <laughs> the bat flew off from the snake. And then he found the tapir. And the tapir is an animal with a big droopy nose. And he started to tease the tapir. You have no feathers. And you have a droopy nose. Look at me. I am a bad bird. La, 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 la. And the tapir looked, started to cry, and shuffled off into the bushes. <laughs> then the bat found a sloth. A sloth holding onto a tree. And he looked a bit like this. You are so slow. I am a bad bird. I am a bad bird. La 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 la.
If you were a real bad bird, you wouldn't be missing a feather. What? Where? Where am I missing a feather? Turn around. So the bat did. He turned around. And the sloth was right. He was missing a feather. Right on his bottom. Oh, oh. I am missing a feather. I am not a finished bat bird. Uh, goodbye. And the bat flew off. And he thought, which bird had he missed? Which bird had he forgotten about? And then he remembered. He hadn't been to the top of the mountain. And there was a bird that lived right at the top of the mountain. And he'd forgotten all about it. He'd forgotten about the condor. The condor flies higher than any other bird. They are huge, big wings. In fact, the only bird that has a wingspan bigger than a condor is an albatross. And the condors have big feathers. So the bat flew off to find him. He went higher and higher and higher up the side of the mountain until he got to the highest peak and he found the condor. And the condor was fast asleep. He was snoring like this. Now Coatzala Coatl told the bat to be polite to all the birds. So the bat thought to himself he probably shouldn't wake the condor up. He waited for one hour and still the condor was snoring. Another hour went by. Three hours went by. Another hour, five hours went by, and then the bat had had enough. He went right up to the condor's ear, and he went, Wakey, wakey! And the condor woke up. What do you want, little bat? I am not a bat. I am a bat bird. But I need one more feather to be a finished bat bird. Can I have one of your feathers, please? Please? No. I am a condor. I fly high in the sky. I need all my feathers. You are just a bat bird. Go away. I need another feather. Please. Can I have one of your feathers, please? 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 Uh. If I give you one of my feathers, will you leave me alone? Yes. Very well. The condor, he took a feather, a small feather, from his leg, and he gave it to the bat. And the bat looked at the feather, and it was perfectly fine, but this feather wasn't as big as the feathers on the tips of the condor's wings. And the bat wasn't happy. No, this will not do. Eh, he threw it away. Give me one of your bigger feathers. Give me, give me, give me, give me one of your bigger feathers. I am going to be a magnificent bad bird. La, 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 la. You are just a bat. Ah, I am a bat bird. You are a bat. Bat bird. Bat. Bat bird. Bat. Bat bird. Bat. Bat bird. Bat. bat. Bat bird, bat, bat bird, bat, bat bird, bat. And they argued back and forth and back and forth. And then the bat went, Are oh, you loco? I am a bat bird. La, 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 la. You are just a bat. And the condor grabbed the bat in his talons and he shook him as hard as he could. And the condor shook the bat so hard. All the feathers he collected off all the other birds, they fell off. The wind blew them off down the mountain into the clouds and they disappeared. And then the bat was naked again. And then the condor threw the bat down the mountain and he tumbled through the sky and then he was just about to hit the cliffs. He regained his, his wings and he regained his balance and he flew off. Back down to the forest. To find Coatzala Coatl. Condor was mean to me. He stole all my feathers. That doesn't sound like the condor. Are you lying to me, little bat? No. Are you lying to me? No. 
Are you lying to me? Yes. And the bat admitted what had really happened. And Quetzalcoatl looked down at the bat. I told you, you were only asked. You were only allowed to ask for one feather. And what did you do? I asked for two. Well, now you are stuck as a bat. Can I not go back to some of the birds and get a few feathers and be a little bat bird? No. Just a few, two or three feathers, be a little tiny little bat bird. No. Just, just, just no. Oh, go! And the bat flew off. And he went to hide in a cave. And he wanted to hide in the cave because all the birds would laugh at him. He'd lost their feathers. He'd only had their feathers for a day. Some of them might even be angry with him for losing their feathers. And even though he was starving and he needed something to eat, he couldn't go out to look for something to hunt and, and eat outside. So he, he hid in that cave all day. And his belly started to rumble, but he still couldn't go outside. He could hear the birds squawking and pecking. And then... It started to get a little bit darker. The sun was getting lower in the sky. And eventually, of course, the sun disappeared. And when the sun disappeared, it turned to night. And now the bat was so hungry, he had to go out and look for something to eat. He flew out of the cave and he didn't think he was going to find anything. But straight away, instead, he found a juicy mosquito. And he grabbed it. And he ate it. Oh, it was so tasty. He saw another one and he caught another mosquito. And then another one. And he started to gobble mosquitoes down. And the mosquitoes were tastier than any bug he'd ever tasted in the day. And there were no birds around to laugh at him. Apart from a couple of owls. So, from that point onwards... The bat decided he would fly at 